Hello friends, I am making my journal cover for Junk Journal July and I wanted to show you how I'm going to use this little dress to cover my journal. I'm going to start with a manila folder and very simple, very basic. The first thing I'm going to do is mark it and cut it to size. The next thing I'm going to do is disassemble the dress. Now, there's several ways that you can go about doing this. You could literally grab a pair of seam rippers and start going at the seams. That's one way. Or you could do it the way I did it and grab your scissors and then just start removing things. Like I started with the tag, as you can see here. And I might actually use the tag that has the name on it for a tab, but I'm going to set it aside and we'll see if I remember to do that. I probably won't remember, but eventually I'll put it in some journal. Then I put a little hole in the fabric and now I'm just going to cut right around the edges. I was trying to tear it because sometimes you can tear and it'll come right out, but this one was tough. The grain of the white fabric wasn't going with the seam. So I'm just going to use my scissors stay as close to the edge as I can and get the white lining out of the dress. Now that the white lining is out of the dress, I'm going to go ahead and start to disassemble the actual dress. And what I'm going to do is start with a seam and I'm just cutting right up the seam and I'm cutting over top of where it was sewed together. And that way I'm kind of hoping I sort of hit those thread, not the threads, but you know, like, like where it was sewn together. So yeah, I guess the threads. You might be wondering, why am I doing it like that? Well, it's because I don't know what I'm doing, but I've done this enough to know that for me and the way my brain works, you got to start somewhere. And for me, it just makes the most sense to start with a seam. That's kind of how I simplify things, like when I'm doing stuff that I don't do very often or I'm doing something that's new to me. I, I just try to look at it and, and think to myself, where can I start? And to me, just an obvious place is a seam. So I'm doing that on both sides. So basically, the dress is going to be cut in half. Next, once the dress is cut in half, I'm going to pick another place to start cutting and I'm going to get these sleeves off. This sleeve, it's it's not a true sleeve, it's just like this little puffiness that would go where a sleeve would be. This is something that's usable in a journal and I think it would be so super cute. So I'm going to cut these apart. I'm going to leave the crinkle in it so I'm not cutting over the the seam on this. I'm just cutting just to the outside of it to leave the um, the crinkly part intact. I'm going to do that to both sides. Well, here it is. I've done it to both sides and now I'm removing the belt as you can see. Now I'm just going to take a good look at this and decide, you know, what do I do next? And in order to make that decision, I've grabbed my manila folder, which is going to be the book cover, and I've put the dress on top of it. I'm having a look, trying to decide, you know, where am I going from here? Actually, I'm deciding, I'm just diving in. I, I like the way, like, I can envision how this could turn out. So I'm starting with the front. This is going to be the front cover. So the part of the dress that has the cute little belt on it, uh, you know, where the yellow flowers are, I want that to be part of the cover. So I'm going to go in with my Fabri-Tac, and I'm just going to nail this down real quick. In the next screen, which is coming up in a few seconds, you're going to see I have flipped this over, but this whole part, this whole front, I think this whole front, is glued to the manila folder. Before I do anything else, I'm going to add some pom-pom trim. I'm using my hot glue gun to do that. 
you could use Fabri-Tac. It's just a personal preference at this point. And I'm putting the pom-pom trim on now because I know I'm going to cover this, this plain side of the cover with more fabric. And I want to have the pom-pom trim sandwiched in between the fabric and the manila folder. I have cut a piece of fabric from the back of the dress because pretty much the front of the dress is already on the front cover here. So this is a new piece of fabric and now I'm going to glue that down and it's going to meet up with the pom-pom trim once I make my way across the manila folder. I'm just doing strips of hot glue and just one strip at a time, pressing it down, another strip, pressing it down. This is the back of the journal, by the way. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. So here it is, I got it done. The pom-pom trim is sandwiched between the manila folder and the fabric. And like I mentioned, this is the back of the journal. That turned out great. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on the front. Here's the front of the journal. It does not have its pom-pom trim on yet. So I'm just pulling the fabric back a little bit so that when I'm ready, I can go ahead and put the trim on. Before I do that though, I've decided that I'm going to get the inside cover done with this piece of fabric that's attached to the back. So it was like one long piece of fabric. And so I figure before I do anything else, I wanna kind of get that out of the way. And so I'm doing the same thing I did on the other side. I'm going strip by strip. So a strip of glue and then pushing the fabric down into it, so on and so forth. So now this is the back cover and it is done. Now I feel like I can go ahead and focus again on the front cover. There was some fabric like hanging over, like this is the overlap fabric. So this fabric is the front cover. It's got to go over the edge of the journal so no cardstock is exposed or no manila folder is exposed. Now I'm going to attach the pom-pom trim. Now I want to tell you that the front of the cover, you can see there's some fabric overhanging because I have not decided if I'm gonna leave it skirt-like and going beyond the actual book cover or if eventually I'm gonna trim that off straight. So at this point in the process, I haven't decided that. I got the pom-poms glued on. Now I have another piece of fabric and I'm going to cover the inside of the journal. Same technique, it's going to be section by section. I'm taking my time, there's no rush. All of the pom-pom trim is on. Now I'm going to cover the inside front of the journal cover. <laughs> I have a pretty large piece of fabric here, so I want to cut that to size before I start gluing. So I'm just, you know, I'm pressing it into place. It's not like I have a ton of this fabric, so I don't really want to make any mistakes. So I've got it placed down. I have it folded over where I think it needs to be. And now I'm going to just go ahead and make my cut. And then same thing, strip by strip, just gluing it down. Just so you know, this is seersucker fabric and I found it delightful to work with. It was just super easy to work with. The piece of fabric that you see there is from the front piece of fabric. So I've got to fold that over to cover the manila folder. There's a little bit of excess there that I don't need. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just going to trim that off. I'm done with that, we're gonna flip this over and take a look at the front. So we can decide where do we wanna go from here. And the first thing we can see is that the skirt part is really crooked, which I knew it would be when I originally did it. I, I wasn't trying to do it perfect. Ultimately, I've decided I think it's gonna look better if I cut it straight across. And now I'm 
am sort of toying with the idea of adding, remember the sleeve that had the nice ruffle? I was thinking about adding that to the bottom, but you know, I, I just, I don't think it needs it. So now I'm gonna focus on the spine. I'm not really sure yet what I wanna do with the spine, but I know I need to do a little bit of cleanup on it. So I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm just gonna make a straight cut. The first thing I want to do is glue this loose edge down. I'm going to do that both on the outside and the inside of the journal. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and sew the signatures in, but I'm not going to sew the signatures in on camera. I have done some videos showing how I do it, so you can always refer back to my playlist, probably the one working, it's called Working on Junk Journals and Altered Books. So you could always refer over there, take a look through the videos and find one that has uh, me sewing in the signatures. I've decided I'm going to cover the spine with some fabric and I found some fun fabric. You guys have maybe seen it before. It's got yellow and hot pink, a little bit of red, some green on it and that's what I'm going to use over the spine. You saw that I clipped my pages together with clothespins. I do that because it, it helps the journal to stand up on its own keeps it very sturdy and that way I can work on the spine not damage anything but not have my journal flapping all over the place so you can see I am adding this piece of fabric just using hot glue and I'm going down the center first once I'm done with that I'll go down each side and I think I go down each side twice like uh, you know this first part and then I'll come down a little further under the fabric right there under the edge and then I'll just tap that down with my fingers. I had not decided if I wanted to embellish that fabric any further so the video ends with it unembellished and I haven't been struck by anything as far as embellishing it further. If you have any ideas for me let me know and actually now that I'm looking at it I could probably put another flower up in the right hand corner but if you have suggestions let me know I would love to hear them thanks friends I appreciate you being here and hanging out with me thanks for watching see you for the flip through